Hello guys, what is up? My name is Dan the Delight and today I'm bringing you a FIFA 23 player review on Leandro Chossard, the Brighton and Belgium left winger. Um, so he got his inform for scoring a hat-trick, I think it was, against Liverpool um, in a 3 all draw. So as you know with these videos, um, I will go through the base stats, then the in-game stats, and then get into some gameplay and then back to the in-game stats where I compare them to how he played it in-game. So, uh, 82 overall, left wing, left mid. I think his natural position is left mid, but I switched him into a left wing, so I don't use left left mid. So I don't really use left wings, to be honest, either, but um, I did for the purpose of this review. Paid 15,500 coins, so that is the price that I'm going to be reviewing him off of the uh, basis of. Um, so, 85 pace, 81 shooting. 80 passing, uh, 84 dribbling, 34 defending, and 66 physical. Some really nice stats on there, to be honest, for the price. Um, with these videos, I always try and find three key stats that I'm going to really, really zone in on for a left winger. It'll be pace, shooting, and dribbling. And he has there is best three stats, to be honest, so that's really good. Um, his passing is not bad either. For 15,500 coins, I'm liking the look of this player. Um, high medium on the work rates, right footed, four star skill moves, four star weak foot, really good as well. Um, so yeah, I mean, being right footed on the left wing is my preference because then they're on the side where the goal is for the uh, for the shoots, shooting. So yeah, really looking forward to getting into it with this player. He's literally just dropped as I'm recording this. Um, so yeah, let's get into the actual in-game stats. Then some gameplay, and then we'll go back to the uh, the in-game stats to compare it to what the uh, the actual gameplay was. So the pace, whoa, um, 85 pace made up in 92 acceleration, 79 sprint speed. That's weird for me. Um, I don't normally like it where they're so far apart. That's really strange that there's that much of a difference in between there. So he's going to be really quick and turbo away, but then slow down as he runs. I'm assuming. Um, weird, not played with a player with that much of a gap in a very long time, definitely not on this FIFA so far that I've done a review on, so yeah, really strange there for the pace. The shooting at 81 is made up of 88 attack positioning, 81 finishing, 81 shot power, 82 long shots, 77 volleys and 78 penalties, not bad there, um, attack positioning is boosted anyway, um, same as shot power, the finishing is pretty good at 81 for a left wing. Um, yeah, really good stats there to be honest for a 15,500 coin player. I'm pretty happy with them shooting stats. Then the passing at 80 um, is made up of uh, 80 vision, uh, 81 crossing, 73 free kick accuracy, 81 short pass, 78 long pass and 86 curve. So the short pass is really good there at 81, that's better than the average there. So I am, that's what I would want for the left winger. Um, I don't really cross at all. I, I know I've got Ronaldo in the middle uh, for this team that I'm using, but I don't tend to cross um, all that much, if I'm honest with you. So yeah, the passing stats for me are in the right areas there. Then the 84 dribbling, this is crazy. 95 agility, 88 balance. So that means he will not be sluggish in the slightest, and that is my pet peeve on FIFA. So I'm very excited to do some dribbling with uh, with Trossard. Um, 75 reactions, 81 ball control, 84 uh, dribbling, and 85 composure. Some really nice stats in there, to be honest. The dribbling is going to be fun to use, I think. Um, the, the main one there is the reactions at 75, which is a little bit lower than what the rest of the card is. But uh, even then, I don't think they're as important as some of the others. For me, agility and balance are the two most important when it comes to the dribbling, and they're very, very high. Actually, 99 for the agility when you get that plus four boost, so really, really good there. Then a defending, I'm not really going to get into too much because it is just really the head and accuracy that we'd be bothered about. That's 74, which isn't bad, but how many times are you going to get a header away with a left winger? Not many at all. And then the physical, this is a fun one, 83 jumping to go with that heading, which would be good if I was going to do heading. Um, 64 on the strength, which is quite low, unfortunately. Um, I hope that it feels a bit stronger than that uh, in-game. So let's get into some actual gameplay now and give my review on Trossard. All right, so Leandro Trossard, what a player. He was fantastic for me. Um, yeah, he, really good. You'll see a few goals here and stuff like that from him. Um, but yeah, I mean, well, <laughs> starting off with a miss there, sorry. Um, but yeah, he, he was always sort of getting into the right position. I did have to set him to stay forward, though, on the custom tactics. When I didn't do that, he kind of wasn't in the game as much. So the first game that I played with him, he wasn't really in the game. So I definitely do recommend, if you are going to use Trossard, have him to stay forward. Um, and that will definitely help out. 
but yeah, really, really solid player. Um, was The dribbling was absolutely fantastic. You're seeing some examples of that in the gameplay here. Yeah, for me, the dribbling was the highlight of him. The pace was weird. Like it said in the card, I guess it was always going to be a bit weird. He did get away from the um, opponent, but I guess because his pace is 92 acceleration, even though he did slow down, they still couldn't catch him because the 92 acceleration is so good. So it was rapid, and he had really good finishing. Um, which I wasn't really expecting because the um, the finishing on the actual card wasn't the highest. Um, so yeah, I, I was quite surprised. Like you're seeing some examples of it here, where he does manage to to score some goals. Which you know, a guy with 81 finishing, you might not expect to uh, that one. He, it was a, a lot of the time it was like in off the post, which is good um, because that means that it, it's a lot harder for the keeper to get to. But also the only problem with that is that sometimes that means that they did go a bit wide. It wasn't sort of dead in. Um, sort of thing, but yeah, you're seeing a, an example of his dribbling and things like that. And yeah, he was he was a lot of fun to play with, to be honest. And for fifteen thousand five hundred coins, that feels like a bit of a steal. But let's get back into the actual in-game stats now, and I'll give my final review. And is he worth it? I think you might know that. Um, Eighty-five pace felt weird. Uh, felt like it did on the card. It did feel like he got away from the opponent really quick and then slowed down. So I'm not going to touch it. Eighty-five pace feels about right there. Eighty-one shooting. I'm going to increase. It felt a lot better than that, so I'm bringing that up to about an 84. I've played with players with less than 80, or more than 81, sorry, and, uh, and yeah, he it, it definitely couldn't be an 81 sh um, shooting there. So we're bringing that up to about 84, um, really good there for the shooting. Um, and then the passing at 80, I'll probably leave about the same, maybe it could be increased slightly. Um, like a 81 82 but nothing spectacular didn't notice that he made any big mistakes or anything with the passing but also didn't really notice that he was sort of like pinging balls left right and centre kind of like a, a Christian Eriksen team of the week was um, the dribbling at 84 I'll increase as well this is one of the most fun that I've had with a player with dribbling and um, you saw a lot of the times where it was just like at his feet and he was sort of just dancing around with it and, and managing to weave in and out of players really good on the dribbling so I'm going to increase that to an 87 which is a huge huge upgrade um, but I think he deserves it 87 for the dribbling for sure defending and physical I'm going to leave both of them the same I didn't notice that he was getting pushed off the ball that much but he also didn't feel the strongest but to be fair with his acceleration with his dribbling he didn't really come into contact with people too much because he was always away from them or sort of doing rings around them so yeah really really fun player to play with um, play him as a left winger I think as, as a left midfielder he would be wasted to be honest um, but as a left winger he was fantastic for me um, I, I can't recommend him enough for 15,500 quints and that is on the first day of the team of the week coming out so chances are he's probably going to decrease in price as well um, I can't recommend that you need to go get yourself a Leandro Trossard for a very cheap very good left winger he felt like a, like a son kind of level obviously not as good with the finishing and that sort of thing he did miss chances which son would have put away but with the pace and things like that he felt really really good and i had a lot of fun playing with him and i think he's going to be a mainstay in my team for quite some time to be honest um, while i try other players out around him but hopefully you did like this video if you did please do give it a thumbs up it would help me out tremendously hit the subscribe button for more videos like this and as always guys thank you for watching